Hello my dear friend, my name is Ebere Okogu and today I want to bring you the message of the glory of the Lord. The scripture lets us know in Acts of Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 verse 39 that the glory is unto you. The promise of the glory is unto you. You can receive the glory from the Lord. But before you do that, you need to be born again. You need to be saved. About 20 years ago, I made this decision in my life and accepted the Lord Jesus Christ into my life. And I tell you the truth, I have not regretted it. The Lord has been faithful to his word. Every word that he has written in his scriptures for me, he has been faithful to them. I was actually traveling in a bus when a woman started preaching. And after that preaching, I felt touch of the Holy Spirit and I gave my life to Christ. And this is why I start this ministry, to reach to you who are traveling. Perhaps you are traveling from one station to another, you are in the train or in the bus or in one form of transportation or other, listening to me. May I encourage you to make that same decision in, in, that I have made in your life. If you are not born again, it's my pleasure. I will, I will be happy to help you, to lead you to Christ. Why is that important, you may ask? So you may receive the glory. The scripture says in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 38, that if you repent and be baptized, you will receive the promise of the Holy Ghost. This promise is unto you, and this is what I bring to you today. Can you just pray with me, if you will, and the Lord will touch you and do something new in your life. May I pray with you in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for this opportunity to meet your servant in this time. I ask, O oh God, that you send your Holy Spirit to him for the conviction, O oh God, that he will know who he is in you. I pray for the salvation of his soul. I pray that you accept him because the scripture says that if we believe with our hearts and confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord, we shall be saved. And so today, your son or your daughter has believed in his or her heart that you are the Lord. So I ask that you save him. I ask that you heal him. I ask that you send and release the glory, the promise of the Holy Spirit into his life, that he will begin his journey into the knowledge of your glory. Thank you, my Father, for you answered our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. So, my dear friend, before I leave you, I just want to encourage you to find a living church. Find the living church. Find the pastor that has the anointing that you that that you need, the anointing that will help you to grow and begin to attend. Before you know it, you start growing and fulfilling your purpose in God. Thank you for today, and God bless you.